Tomorrow, Athens, Clark County officials will have to explain their decision to pull the state's new voting machines. They stopped using the machines last week and substitute hand-marked paper ballots. 11 Alive's Doug Richards talked with the Secretary of State about it today. Doug? Well, Jeff, Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger chairs the state election board, which is holding what it calls an emergency meeting tomorrow in Athens. At issue is whether the new voting machines ensure voter privacy and whether local officials can determine whether they do or don't. The early voting precinct in downtown Athens has a handful of voting booths, but inside them there are no voting machines. Instead, we saw voters get blank paper ballots, which they handmarked before submitting them to a scanner for tabulation. Although Clark County took delivery of nearly 300 new voting machines, the local election board decided the large, bright touchscreens failed to protect the privacy of voters. Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger mostly declined to discuss why the state is challenging the local board's decision. Obviously, uh, I believe that you know ballot secrecy is very important, and then we've done uh, made several steps to make sure that we can safeguard ballot sec sec uh, secrecy, ballot security. Raffensperger's office spent more than $100 million to acquire the state's new voting system after months of sometimes contentious debate over whether the state should get any new computerized system. Last month, we visited a special election in South Georgia where some voters told us the new touchscreen devices were too easily seen by other voters in the precinct. I think all the counties by now realize that it's a totally different system. This month's presidential primary is the first time that the new election system is getting statewide use. The state election board contends athens clark County may have violated three different state laws by pulling the machines and will make a ruling after tomorrow's hearing. Sure.